Hello, good evening, everybody. How are you today? Can you hear me? Hello, teacher. Hello. It's good to have you here, my dear participants. Today is Wednesday. So we are about to finish the third week of our basic two uh, module. So we are going to continue with the unit number four. We are going to close, almost close, section number four in order that start uh, next week, the section number five. So I'm going to share with you my platform that I have for you to follow the topic. And in here, I don't know if you can see the, the screen, but in here it says, by the end of this class, you will read and discuss the article about special foods, develop skills in scanning and reading for details, okay? So this is something that you will do basically by yourself because let me put you mute. Le voy a poner mute para que lo escuchemos y luego se lo quitamos en el ejercicio. Okay, perfect. So um, here you have uh, this video in the platform. The idea is that you can play the video that you listen the uh, pronunciation of each of the of these dishes but then you have to go to the uh, knowledge check in the knowledge check what you have to do is to read the article and select the word that completes each sentence correctly so uh, the idea of reading these articles is for you to get more vocabulary it means that if you don't know one word you have to look it up in the dictionary in order that you can find the complete sense of the topic and uh, now it's easy because you can find a dictionary in google or use google translator it is not recommendable at all but you can do it okay in español el resumen eh, la idea de su ejercicio de eh, scanning de leer un artículo es para que ustedes puedan adquirir más vocabulario verdad eh, hay palabras clave verdad que ustedes tienen que seleccionar para completar cada oración pero también se les anima a que busquen aquellas palabras nuevas que ustedes no conocen, ¿verdad? En un diccionario. Si eh, no tiene a la mano un diccionario, pues ahora es súper fácil porque a través del Google usted puede encontrar varios diccionarios. Está wordreference.com, está eh, lingui.com. Bueno, hay una infinidad de diccionarios y... E, e incluso usted tiene la posibilidad de escribir la palabra y ver cómo, escuchar, perdón, cómo se pronuncia. Entonces la idea es que usted pueda ampliar su vocabulario. So, for example, here, it says, some Chinese people eat tangerines. Tangerines are round, eh, round food and, and, and begin again, like years, okay? Um, then it says, eh, it is a Jewish custom, custom to eat apples with honey for a sweet new year, okay? So this is a tradition for the new year, okay? Uh, then it says Greeks eat basi, oops, I cannot see it, well, okay. Greeks eat pasilopita bread with a coin inside. Everyone tries to find the coin for, look, for luck and money in the new year. So it must be dangerous if you can find the coin and you break your teeth, okay? <laughs> and that's funny. Esa es divertida, ¿verdad? Porque imagínense a coin inside. O sea que le ponen una moneda dentro al pan y quien lo encuentre va a tener suerte en el nuevo año. The issue is if you find it and you break your, your teeth. El asunto es que la encuentre y se quiebre su diente, ¿verdad? It's funny. It's funny. Okay, in Spain and in some Latin America, Latin America. People eat 12 grapes, grapes at midnight on New Year's. Uh, on New Year's Eve, one grape for good luck in each month of the year. Okay, so this is very no, well known in Latin American countries. On New Year's Day in Japan, people eat, eat mochi, mochi rice cakes uh, for strength in the New Year. Some Americans from southern states eat light high peas and rice with colored green. Uh, the black eyed peas are like coins in the green, in the, and the greens are like dollars. Wow. So they, they have like a symbolism 
on the color of the food they eat for New Year. Okay, so that's the article. But in here, you have uh, some Chinese people eat tangerines. Tangerines are brown, sweet, or acid. According to the reading, because it says, read the article, then select the word that completes each sentence correctly. So according to the, to the reading, are round, right? Round. So then, some Jewish people eat apples with syrup, candy, or honey. So according to the reading, you have to go and complete. And that's the way you finish until number six. Okay, uh, we finished this part. Now let me go to the rest part of the class. So let me advance. Okay, it doesn't want to allow me to advance. Okay, finally. Okay, uh, we are going to start section number five that says, by the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary related to popular sports, sports in the US and Canada, okay? So today we are going to get some uh, vocabulary and we are going to talk about sports we practice um, and some other topics related to this vocabulary. So the topic of 5.1 5 is sports and seasons. Okay, seasons on epochs, right? sports and seasons vocabulary. So you have to watch the video and then, uh, for example, right here, what do you do in each season of the year? So um, in 5.2 says, by the end of this class, you will learn how to ask and answer simple questions, simple present uh, with WH questions. So this is going to be tomorrow because today I just would like to focus on the vocabulary and then tomorrow we are going to start working with the WH in order to practice how this topic is used in real life situations. So I'm going to stop sharing this and I will go to my presentation. So uh, here I have some vocabulary for the four seasons of the year. We have spring words, we have summer, and we have autumn words. Uh, in other countries, they have four seasons during the year. Spring, spring is primavera, right? So in spring, they have holidays, they have rainbows, they can have rain, they see birds, they see bees and flowers, they see butterflies on the flowers, they see a nest on the, on the tree, and on the, on the nest, there's a bird, okay? Um, excuse me, let me move this or hide this, okay. In the summertime, we can find words like beach, sun, home, umbrellas, uh, campina, okay? Uh, we can find, you can find uh, soft drinks or cocktail. For autumn, we have pumpkins, right? But let me go here in order to explain the autumn words. Uh, in autumn, in other countries, they have the apple harvest, they have falling leaves, and some leaves can change color on the trees. They have pumpkins, they, ha they have Halloween tradition, they celebrate, and they sometimes go back to school. They have acorns, they have corn harvest. Uh, for the summertime, which is the most likely to Latin American or Central American countries. We have like sun, beach ball, sand and toy, coconut palm, uh, deck chairs, sand castle. We have also um, words like um, a beach vendor, bikini, swim trunk, uh, trunk, visitors, beach and umbrella, canoe, flip flop, hat, coconut, googles, sunglasses and float, okay? And this is about the, the keywords of the, of the season. But here we are going to talk also about extreme sports. But by now, I would like that we can um, work with the vocabulary of the seasons, okay? So we are going to uh, practice 
by answering uh, some questions like this, okay? Um, so let me duplicate this. So, uh, so you have to answer my favorite season of the year and you have to say what is your favorite season of, of the year, okay? Uh, so we are not going to talk of sports right now, but uh, here I would like that you can talk about every different season of the year, okay? So my favorite season of the year is summer. I like to go to the beach and swim. And in here, I can also add, for example, I like, or we can also use the, the um, we are going to try to use the uh, frequency adverb. I, no, I generally, I generally wear, and let's see the vocabulary, I generally wear, and let's see some words about the flip-flops and um, let's see, sunglasses, for example. Okay, so I generally, what happened? Okay, I generally wear flip-flops and summer glasses, okay? Um, so what do you do in December holidays? I celebrate Christmas with my family. And we always have a dinner together. We also visit some uh, relatives and go to bed after midnight. Okay. Okay. And what do you do in August vacation? Maybe you can say, I like to go to the mountain. I like. Uh, to go to, um, let's see, the play, the playland park. Um, I like to go to the parties, I don't know. Etc. So you can say what you'd like to do. And what do you usually, for example, here uh, we can say, uh, what do you normally do in order to use, what do you normally do? Look, we are using the frequency adverbs we learn, we recently learned. What do you normally do in December holiday? What do you um, often do in August vacation? Uh, what do you usually do in Easter? I like to go camping. I like to go to the countryside. I like to visit villages. Puebliar, ¿verdad? Visitar los pueblos. Okay, very good. So, um, I would like to know if you have questions. Eh, si se fijan, les he puesto las cuatro estaciones del año, ¿verdad? Estoy hablando de summer, estamos hablando... En, en, en los países latinoamericanos no tenemos normalmente las cuatro estaciones del año, por eso les he puesto summer, December, August vacation, e Easter, que Easter es como lo más eh, cercano, o, o lo que queremos decir es la Semana Santa, ¿verdad? La celebración de la paz. Es el nombre correcto. So, I'll send you these images, aunque esto no es muy, no es muy, eh, como les digo, no es muy típico nuestro, lo, lo nuestro es más eh, summertime. Eso es lo que más se parece a nosotros. So, I would like to know if you have questions. Me gustaría saber si tienen preguntas. Lo que vamos a hacer, what we are going to do is to go to the breakout rooms, 
and we are going to try to build um, a, a little conversation related to what we like to do or what uh, we prefer to do during uh, the four seasons of the year, but adequate to our context. Pero lo hemos adecuado al contexto, ¿verdad? Entonces vamos a tener una pequeña conversación muy parecida al ejemplo que yo les he trabajado acá, ¿verdad? Donde hablamos de, eh, por ejemplo, summer, December, August vacation, Easter, la Pascua, ¿verdad? O la vacación de Semana Santa. Entonces, eh, entre ustedes van a conversar y van a tratar de hacer dos cosas. Eh, usar eh, Frequency Adverb, ¿verdad? Y usar eh, algo del vocabulario que hemos dicho que se utiliza para hablar de verano. Puede ser que ustedes tengan otras expresiones eh, que les gustaría agregar. Do you have questions so far? ¿Tenemos preguntas de lo que vamos a hacer? Yes or no? Is it clear? Está claro. Ok, perfect. No. You don't have to do a lot, a big, big conversation. No tienen que hacer una gran, gran conversación, ¿verdad? Pero mencionar una o dos cositas que les gusta hacer en esta época. Ok, so let's go to the breakout rooms. Vamos a los salones. We are 11 people, so we are going to have four. Ok, let's go. Please join. Hello, is everything okay? Todo bien por aquí? Sí. Okay, perfect. Uh, do you have questions? Tenemos preguntas? No. Estamos bien. No. Okay, sí. excellent. See you in a minute, my dear. Okay. So.
Bueno. Vaya, empecemos. Los suyos son... Verano. ¿Is everything okay? ¿Todo bien por aquí? Yes. Yes. Excellent. Excellent. So you will have time to, to talk about your favorite season of the year. See you in a minute. Are you Catholic? Uh, are you Catholic? Uh, yes, um, I'm Catholic. Uh -huh. Catholic. I'm great. Yes. Me too. Yes, yes. <laughs> okay, my dears, do you have questions? Is everything okay? Yes, teacher. We are okay. Okay, okay perfect. See you in a minute. Okay. Okay. <laughs> my favorite is Where they go? Hi, teacher. Hi, my dear. Do you have questions or is everything okay? Hello, teacher. Hello. Yes. Ahí vamos, teacher. A mí es que me cuesta un poco más, pero ahí vamos. Don't worry. You just try ah. to do it. Eh, por sí, eso le puse también. el pattern. Por eso le puse el ejemplo, ¿verdad? Para que solo puedan rellenar con la información de ustedes. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay, but okay. if you have questions with vocabulary, let me know. Si tienen preguntas con el vocabulario o algo así, pues me dicen. Y si se fijan, son oraciones cortas, ¿verdad? Sí. Sí. Ah, por ejemplo, la número dos, what do you normally do in December holidays? En por las ejemplo, vacaciones de diciembre. Ajá. Por ejemplo, um, I celebrate Christmas with my family in... We always, or we, no, but no sé, generally, mm -hmm. um, we go to the church. Sí, lo puede poner. We, we, uh, we okay. always go to the church, or we normally uh -huh. go to the church, por supuesto. Okay, okay. Sí, por supuesto, así es. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, excellent. Okay. Ok. Seguimos con la otra, ¿verdad? Ok. Um, for me, uh, I go to the river in um, I like go to the visit my friends. I like to go to visit. Mm -hmm. sin, la, sin la de, I like to go to visit or I like to visit. Ah, like to visit. Se dice Ma. other, otros vecinos, o nuestros vecinos, or neighbors. Our, our neighbors, our neighbors. Y sí. cuando digo neighborhood. Es el vecindario. Ah, okay. Sí, neighborhood, el vecindario, donde ah, yo vivo, digamos, Entonces, di, digo, I generally uh, we visit. I generally Visitamos. visit. I generally visit, Ajá. or we generally visit our neighbor, our neighbors. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Entonces, en puedo decir, I general uh, uh -huh. visit our neighbors. Sí, así es. Okay. Porque el neighborhood es el vecindario, es el lugar. El neighbor son uh -huh. los vecinos, las personas. 
the people. And sometimes uh, I go to the river. Church and learn more about love. That's it. Oh, great. <laughs> Okay, uh, you are, about, are you about to finish? Están por terminar? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. <laughs> oh, excellent. So I will call you back in a minute. En un minutito le llamo. Solo termino mi ronda de los grupos. Okay? Okay. Excellent. See you in a minute. Thank you. Hello. Are you about to finish? Hello. Ya casi terminan, chicos. Uh, okay, perfect. Uh, if you um, think that it's too much, si creen que es mucho, eh, pueden llegar hasta la cuatro, ¿verdad? Porque ya solo nos queda como un minutito para poderle llamar. Entonces pueden incluso hacer como una, solo una, um, ¿cómo se llama? Actividad por cada uno. Por ejemplo, what do you often do in August vacation? Una actividad por cada uno. And what do you usually do in Easter? Una actividad. Okay, para que no lo sientan tan, tan largo, ¿verdad? Okay. Okay, see you in a minute. Semana Santa. Sí, Semana Santa. Hello. Last question, right? Ya están en la última pregunta, ¿verdad? Sí. Perfect. Ok, if you want, just say one activity per participant. In order that you don't feel it's too long. Pueden hacer solo una actividad por participante para que no lo sientan muy largo. Ok. Ok. See you in a minute, my dear. Ok, teacher. Um. Hello, hello, welcome back. I hope you have been able to advance the most uh, as, po as, as much as possible in the presentation or in the conversation and then to, to have the presentation. So I would like to know uh, who finished, uh, which team finished that would like to start uh, sharing. Me gustaría saber a cuál equipo eh, le gustaría compartir, si lograron terminar, pues si no, no se preocupen hasta donde hayan logrado llegar. Hello, can you hear me? Hello. Hello, how was the practice? How was the practice? Todo bien, lograron avanzar un poquito. No, yo me quedé en la tres. En la tres. Vaya, no se preocupe, estamos bien, suficiente. Suficiente. Okay. Who wants to start? ¿Quién quiere comenzar? ¿Qué equipo quiere comenzar a compartir? Eh, lo que vamos a hacer es lo siguiente. Por ejemplo, uno le pregunta, uno inicia, ¿verdad? What is your favorite season of the What is your favorite season of the Luego, eh, creo que tengo un feedback por ahí. Le voy a poner un ratito mío mientras les explico la dinámica de compartir y luego vamos abriendo el equipo que, lo va, que va participando. Eh, for example, eh, supongamos que Floricenda comienza y pregunta, What is your favorite season of the year? Fulanito, a su compañero. Y esta persona responde, ¿verdad? Eh, aquí quiero introducir una, una, una frase, ¿verdad? Solo que aquí ya se me quedó chiquito, la vamos a escribir acá. What about you? What? Vamos a moverlo un poquito. Lo vamos a hacer en minúscula. Cuando yo regreso una pregunta... Eh, util, puedo utilizar esta frase, what about you? ¿Y tú? Es como decir, ¿y tú? ¿Verdad? ¿Y qué hay de ti? De lo que estamos hablando, what about you? ¿Y tú? 
Entonces podemos usar eh, esta palabra para no hacer toda la pregunta. O podríamos decir, and you, ¿verdad? What is your favorite season of the year? Eh, o, oh, and you. ¿Verdad? Entonces, eh, para que puedan regresar la pregunta. Entonces la persona, la otra persona puede responder, ¿verdad? Sin ningún problema. So, um, would you like to start? Eh, I don't know, Floriselda, sí. No sé si al equipo de Floriselda le gustaría comenzar. Vamos a esconder esto para que se pueda ver mejor. Esto para que se pueda ver mejor. Sí. Ok. Ready. Listo. Ahí vamos. Ustedes eh, deciden quién comienza, quién sigue. Ok. What is your favorite season on the year, Joanna? Okay. Hi, Joanna. Mm, Hello, my Joanna. Friend. Okay, Joanna is there. Ahí está Joanna. My favorite okay. season, summer. Is summer. I like, uh, yes. Ajá, si no decimos of the year, eh, podemos omitir, perdón, solo quiero eh, mostrar esto. Supongamos que yo omito my, eh, todo, ¿verdad? Y, y le quito of the year y solo digo my favorite season. Entonces, is summer. ¿Sí? Ok. Excelente. Adelante. Ok. Uh, y la, la, la pregunta para... ¿A quién le regresa? Eh, en este caso, a, a Floricelta, ¿verdad? What about you, Floricelta? Okay, what? my favorite what? of year is winter. Okay. I like it fresh. I like this fresh. I always go to plant uh, my ve ve vegetable. Uh, vegetable. Plant my vegetable. Okay, perfect. My Excellent. Excellent. Uh, one more question. Una pregunta más entre el equipo. ¿Había alguien, ¿Había alguien más con ustedes o solo ustedes dos? Estaba otro compañero, pero no logramos conversar con él. Ah, ok. Ok, es ok. Está bien. Eh, one extra question. Una pregunta más. Okay. What do you normally do in the summer holiday? I celebrate, I celebrate Christmas with my family mm -hmm. and we always deliver gift, gifts, regalos. Gifts. Ah, okay. We always, uh, give some gifts or share some gifts. Okay. Ok. Ok, perfect. So, y, y le, le regresa la misma pregunta. What about you? And you, Joanna? I usually have dinner with my family and exchange presents. Ok, very good. Excellent. Thank you very much, team. Ok, who wants to continue? El siguiente equipo. Vamos a ver, voluntarily, voluntariamente, si no vamos a usar el dedito <ríe> para decir you, you, you. Ok. Adelaida y Antonio. Adelaida, Adelaida y Antonio. Ok, perfect. Ok. Antonio, can you start, please? Yes. Uh, what is your favorite season of the year, Adelaida? My favorite season of the year is summer because... I like go to the beach. To go, to go to the beach. To go to the beach mm -hmm. and enjoy the time with my family. Perfect. And, and what about you, Antonio? Mm -hmm. My favorite season is winter because I like the cold weather and I can spend all the day watching movies. Excellent, very good, that's nice. Thank you, team. A, a second question, una segunda pregunta. Uh, what do you normally do in December holidays? Uh, on December, 
we celebrate with my family. We we always have, have a dinners together and sometimes we play together. And you? I celebrate Christmas too. I go to the Pastorella with my family and I visit my grandma. Okay, excellent, perfect. Solo una chiquita corrección. Eh, Recuerdan que cuando hablamos solo del mes, sin dar una fecha completa eh, eh, de día y mes, utilizamos in, ¿verdad? In December. ¿Sí? Uh, right. Ok, es la única. Ok, perfect. Ok, uh, next team. Let's see. Maybe Susana Chacón en team. Hello. Hello, Susana. Mi compañero es Ever Ayala y Saúl. Ok, go ahead, adelante. Ever Ayala. Uh, what did your favorite song of the year? My favorite song? Season, season, como que digo casi sazón, pero con I, season. Okay. My season. favorite season it's summer. Mm -hmm. I like to go to the beach with my friends and see the web. Okay. And you? My favorite season of the year is summer. I like to go to the beach with my family. Okay, excellent. A second question. Una segunda pregunta de todas las que trabajaron. Okay. What do you normally do, do in December holidays? Hello, Eva. Ah, la contesto yo o Saúl. Ah, okay. Eh, no sé cómo está. Si alguien no ha participado, que conteste quien no ha participado, porque ya por el tiempo solo, solo esa pregunta haríamos. Eh, I like to travel to Honduras to visit my family and celebrate my Merry Christmas. Okay, and celebrate uh, Christmas, very good. Christmas. Uh, yes. Okay, thank you. Uh, usted puede regresar la pregunta, and what about you? Okay, and you? Uh -huh. Y decide a quién le pregunta, ¿verdad? Uh, and you ever? Okay, ever. Um, I celebrate Christmas with my family and friends. Okay, perfect, excellent, very good. Thank you very Thank much, you. my dears. Um, we have the chance for a third team. Tenemos el 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 tiempo para el tercer equipo. Creo que tres equipos van ya, son cuatro. Eh, el Exa team. Creo que todavía no ha pasado el equipo del Exa. Hola, hola. Can you hear me? Hola, sí, no hemos pasado. Ok, adelante. Eh, ok, oh, mi compañera team? de equipo. Mi compañera de equipo es Gladys. Ok, Gladys. Ok. Hello. Ok, le haré la pregunta, la primera pregunta. <coughs> What is your favorite season of the year? Uh, my favorite season is summer. Because I like to go to the river and swing. Okay. Okay. What about you? Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. My favorite season of the year is summer. Um, in celebration with my family and with our my friends. Okay. Eh, solo okay. una por pequeña corrección. Favorite. 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 Okay. okay. Y, la y el regreso de la pregunta, en what about you? Okay. And you? Uh, 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 what about you? Mm, bueno, yo esa se la respondí, ella me la respondió. Uh -huh. Ah, ok, ok, excelente. Okay. Excelente. Pregunta. Ok, mm -hmm. second question. Ok. What do, you, what do you normally do in December holidays? Ok. 
general, uh, we celebrate, celebrate Christmas by, uh, by my family and my friends. Okay. Uh, and you? Okay. And you? Uh, normally celebrate Christmas with my family and I go to the church and visit our neighbors okay. and exchange presents. Exchange presents. Okay, very good. And what about yeah. you? What about you? <laughs> <laughs> um, I celebrate Christmas my family and with my friends and um, visit my family uh, what lie in outside of the city outside city. Okay, go outside go out of the city, go outside the city. Okay, okay very good. Thank you. Thank you very much, dear team. So let me see who's missing. Quien me falta, vamos a ver. Adelaida ya está, este es Susana ya está, principal. vamos a ver, Ever, no sé si Ever ya estaba. Sí, con sí, Susana. Es, sí, sí, verdad, Ever, Susana, Muy Joana, sí. Floricelda, ¿quién me falta, chicos? O ya terminamos. Ya terminamos. Sí, ya terminamos. Well done, very good, excellent. Ok, my dears, um, we are going to continue with some vocabulary about the weather. I'll give you this slide, but I would like that you can look for the words that you don't know. Hola? Hola, hola? Hola, perdón, me faltaba alguien, chicos. Creo que no, verdad? Bueno, les decía, here I have this slide about the weather, and we have some words related to rain, to cold weather with temperature, clouds, wind, and other vocabulary, okay? Um, Drizzle es como una eh, pequeña llovizna, ¿verdad? De lluvia. Showers es cuando ya caen gotas más, más fuertes. Rain, ya la lluvia, ¿verdad? El downpour es como un diluvio, ¿verdad? Y flood es cuando ya hay una inundación. Tenemos eh, cold, ¿verdad? Eh, cuando hablamos del, del, del frío hay como diferentes eh, términos, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo... Eh, Sleep, que es como una pequeña llovizna. Hail, snow, ya es la nieve. Snowflake, son los copos de nieve. Blizzard, es cuando ya hay como una ventisca de nieve. Y así, ¿verdad? No me voy a detener mucho en este ejercicio porque quisiera que ustedes busquen los significados. Temperature, hot, warm, cool, cold, freezing, clouds, cloudy, gloomy, foggy, overcast, clear, wind, breeze, blustery, windy, Gale, hurricane, and other vocabulary like forecast, drought, lightning, thunder, and rainbow. Okay? Because of the time, I won't have the chance to develop this, but you can look it up in a dictionary. And then let's go to the next uh, vocabulary. Vamos a rápidamente ver. El siguiente vocabulario, creo que ya no vamos a alcanzar a la práctica, la retomaríamos mañana. Pero también en este tema se ven los sports. ¿verdad? Tenemos los normal sports, llamémosle así, deportes normales. Eh, ski, dive, skate, ride a horse, ride my bike, skip, sail, rollerblade, surf, surf the net. Ahora ya lo ponen como deporte también, ¿verdad? Surf the net. Eh, clean, swim, play the guitar, play the violin, play the piano, sing a song, jump, play tennis play football, play basketball. Okay, those are, I, are like the most common normal sports. But here we have another category. In this category, we have like the extreme sports. Uh, these are even a little bit dangerous in some cases. For example, aggressive skating, base jumping, bungee jumping, free climbing, bouldering. Okay, look. Ese es el free climbing, el bungee jumping y el base jumping. Tenemos sandboarding, o sea, una cosa increíble, ¿verdad? Sandboarding es como hacer patinaje en arena. Mo motocross, mountain biking, rock climbing, 
mountaineering, eh, ha, eh, hang gliding, skydiving, paragliding, sand skiing, and eh, that's it, and skiing, okay? Skiing, scuba duba, and water eh, skiing. So those are some of the most uh, extreme sports. Uh, of course, there are there are more, but um, he, I have here other vocabulary about compound nouns in sports. For example, athletics, basketball. Look that they are compounds of two two words: uh, basketball, cycling, football, golf, rugby, skiing, swimming. Table tennis, champion, club, instructor, match, player, season, stadium, team, tournament, and trophy. Okay, this is some words related to sports. And the questions that I have for you in order to, to practice, but it's going to be, it, 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 I, we will, won't be able to go to the breakout room because of the time. So I will ask you one by one. For example, um, uh, Antonio, what is your favorite sport? Do you have a favorite sport, Antonio? Yes, teacher. Okay. My what? favorite sport is soccer. Okay, very good. Thank you. And how often do you practice it? ¿Qué tan a menudo lo practica? I often practice every weekend every weekend With very good excellent and antonio do you like stream sports yes i like it okay and what is your favorite stream sport if you have one um look at here maybe some of those or that you would like to practice okay le gustaría practicar I, I would like to, to practice rock climbing. Go climbing. Very good. Thank rock you. Climbing. Thank you very much. Okay, now let's talk with a lady. Ahora vamos a hablar con una chica. Vamos a ver qué piensa de los deportes. Let me see. Maybe Joanna? Hello. Hello, Joanna. What is Hello. your favorite sport? <laughs> Um, I don't have a favorite sport. Okay, very good. So if uh, you don't have a favorite sport, maybe you don't like the stream sports, right? Uh, or do you maybe. like it? Yes. What, what stream sport would you like to practice? ¿Qué deporte extremo le gustaría practicar? Motocross. Motocross. Okay, very good. That's nice. That's very interesting. Okay, my dear participants, uh, because of the time, we are going to stop here. Tomorrow we will continue. But if you see, we have been able to use the seasons vocabulary. We have a practice talking about uh, the seasons and the vocabulary. And uh, we learn some vocab extra vocabulary about the weather. And now we learn some uh, vocabulary about sports. So this additional material will be, av will be available uh, in the drive uh, by, by Friday, okay? By, by tomorrow, tomorrow is Friday, <laughs> oh my God. And, uh, but I would like to ask you, please go to the platform and complete until section number four, okay? Ahora la meta es, ir a la plataforma y completar todo, todo hasta, el, hasta la sección 4, porque justo ahora comenzamos la sección 5, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, you will be free tomorrow, Saturday, and Sunday. Van a tener libre eh, sábado, eh, perdón, viernes, sábado, domingo. Les animo a que lo hagan porque hemos estado pues en un tiempo, digamos, relativamente relajado. No sabemos qué disposiciones van a haber y cómo vamos a estar para la siguiente semana. Así que yo les recomiendo que eh, avancemos lo más que podamos, ¿verdad? Ya solo nos queda un, una, um, eh, digamos, eh, one section, una sección que sería la quinta y la última in order to finish this module number two. ¿Ok? 
I wish you the best and be safe, okay? See you, see you on Monday, le veo el lunes. If you have questions, please don't hesitate to write to me. Don't hesitate to write to me. Si tienen preguntas, por favor, no duden en escribirme, ¿verdad? De igual manera, si tienen alguna dificultad con la plataforma, pues nos mandan ahí el grito de auxilio y con gusto les apoyan, ¿ok? Ok. See you. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye-bye.